Your brain learns something modern childhood often skips entirely, how to create purpose from emptiness. That explains the creativity. But it doesn't explain the calm. The almost unnatural calm many of you show during chaos. That comes from the second trait, adaptive risk calibration. You climbed trees that were clearly too high. You rode bikes without helmets. You played rough, got hurt, and walked it off. Every scraped knee, every close call quietly trained your nervous system. Developmental psychology shows that children who experienced real, physical risk during play grew into adults with better threat assessment and lower baseline anxiety. You didn't learn danger from warnings or screens. You learned it by living through it. You figured out the difference between real danger and manageable risk. That's why, when things go wrong, you tend to move forward while others freeze. But there's another layer most younger generations struggle to understand. You developed what researchers call comfort with solitude. You spent long stretches alone, listening to music, lying in the grass, thinking, wandering. Not because you were lonely, but because nothing was constantly demanding your attention. No notifications. No endless feeds. Studies on pre-digital childhood show that people who grew up before constant connectivity experience less anxiety when alone with their thoughts. In fact, modern experiments show many people would rather endure mild discomfort than sit quietly for 15 minutes. That idea probably sounds absurd to you. You learned early that boredom isn't an emergency. Silence isn't something to escape. It's something to sit inside. 